so atom is a very elementary particle elementary unit figure substance you know very well uh, two or sometimes uh, more atoms will come back yes, to form a molecule so it is you can say elementary block subst uh, comprising all the material irrespective of the state so lot of research went on to explore the atom its constituents how is it made and all so first and foremost uh, experiment was conducted by ernest rutherford who said that before rutherford of course thompson also attempted to spoke he suggested a model called watermelon model so according to him the red part in the watermelon is compared with the nucleus as a the atom you can say the nucleus both uh, major portion of it and the black seeds in it are compared with electrons uh, that was called thomson's plum headed model so that was ruled out because it could not explain any uh, related phenomena of atoms then rutherford suggested the planetary model according to which the nucleus with positive charge will be at the center and all the electrons negatively charged electrons will be moving around the nucleus in different different circular orbitals but rutherford's model have suffered some setbacks i'll be rutherford's model suffered certain uh, setbacks but before we go for the setbacks let us see the features of it so i'm switching over to the whiteboard yes sir so atoms so first and foremost here he was thomson's model which was a great failure because it could not explain any of the phenomena second one is yes. rutherford's model to understand you can also remember remember it as planetary model in which the orbiting electrons around the nucleus will be compared with the planets and the nucleus will be compared with the nucleus will be compared with the sun so he conducted a experiment this is the alpha ray source and here is the gold foil you can say this is the gold atom atomic number uh, is it 79 hmm swarna atomic number of gold aramma au sir you hmm. are writing in sir till road mode sir after that anything i could not hear you ma hello Hello, Swarna.
Yeah, some problem is there with your network, I think, so not. No, I, I have informed the father, sir, so he changed my SIM to Geo, sir. Again, it is coming later. <laughs> Okay, so is it 79 atomic number of uh, gold? Uh, gold. Uh, okay, tomorrow you plus... tell me, it does not waste time. Okay, simple is gay. It's a short question. Yeah, it's a short question. Yes, sir. Okay, simple. Okay, okay. Simple. Yes, sir. Okay, 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 simple. Yes,
explain you once again please note it pranav are you following pranav is not there who is yes missing? sir i'm there you are there acha that girl is missing <laughs> are you following yes sir okay please note it down eh yes sir okay sir hello sir sir we'll continue i wrote the formula for kinetic energy which was the alpha particle approach to the gold nucleus as 2z e square by 4 pi epsilon 0 d sometimes in the problems you will be asked the closest distance of approach of alpha particle you will get problems based on this d is equal to it is 2z e square by 4 pi epsilon 0 k that is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 value is it is 9 into 10 to the power of 9 farad meter inverse so if you substitute it i will get the formula for the distance of closest approach as 9 into 10 to the power of 9 into 2z multiplied by 1.6 whole square into 10 to the power of minus 19 whole square 10 to the power of minus 38 how i got that electronic charge is 1.6 and the power of minus 19 coulombs so divided by k so only this uh, z is to be substituted for other problems now minus 38 plus 9 so we'll get the shortcut formula for the distance of closest approach is 18 into the power of minus 29 into 2.56 by k so many meters so here is the formula for the distance of closest approach which you can directly use it for solving problems very important you have to remember we will do two models of problems based on this also so remember it distance of closest approach of alpha particle near to an atom with atomic number z so this is uh, the outcome of rutherford's alpha ray scattering experiment so the inference of uh, rutherford's alpha ray scattering experiment was no alpha particle is able to peep into the nucleus no alpha particle is able to touch the nucleus all the alpha particles are going up to certain uh, closest distance beyond that uh, within which they are bouncing back means the central part he concluded rutherford concluded that the central part of the atom is flooded with positive charge 
and that positive charge inside that center of the atom called nucleus is exclusively because of yes the protons positively charged particles called protons so this was the very striking uh, conclusion of the rutherford's alpha ray scattering experiment plus he also because of the existence of isotopes yes this point uh, have you noted it please note it down Yes, sir. Okay. Sir, it is known as impact parameter, no, sir. Impact parameter. Yes, I am going to mention it. Okay. Anyhow, you said uh, I am writing here only. Yes. So this is called impact parameter. It will be in uh, angstrom units. Means center the power of minus ten meters. <coughs> another important uh, aspect of this rutherford's alpha ray scattering experiment was rutherford only spoke about the existence of isotopes what are isotopes for example take the case of hydrogen deuterium tritium helium next c12 o18 8 o6 8 c12 6 c14 6 so there are called isotopes what is the meaning of isotope elements having atoms having same atomic number but different mass numbers they are called isotopes the existence of isotopes is because of the difference in the number of neutrons inside the nucleus so this is another important uh, aspect of rutherford's model then we will go to the bose theory of hydrogen atom which is very very important many questions many times large number of questions have come in uh, medical as well as engineering entrances so we'll uh, talk yes. more about isotopes and nuclei yes. bose theory the rutherford's model failed to explain the stability of the atom that is the uh, please note it please note the point drawbacks of rutherford's model drawbacks of rutherford's model rutherford's atomic model failed to explain the stability of the atom reason charged particle in motion charged particle in motion radiates energy radiates energy hence its energy decreases particle in motion radiates energy its energy decreases energy decreases speed decreases speed decreases hence radius will decrease hence radius will decrease <coughs> that is <coughs> the electron the electron with the decreasing energy the spiral path the electrons with the electron with the decreasing energy moves along the spiral path 
and finally falls into the nucleus and finally falls into the nucleus giving rise to giving rise to instability of the atom giving rise to the instability of the atom hence bohr suggested niels bohr complete name hence bohr b o h r bohr suggested the stationary orbit model bohr suggested the stationary orbit model so please show it show how the electron is spiraling and falling into the nucleus yeah shall we proceed pranav are you taking yes sir yes sir okay shall we go to the next one yes sir yes sir let us learn the postulates yes sir so we have three postulates first one is here is a nucleus this is electron electron will be moving around the nucleus in discrete quantized orbits with well defined energy which are called the stationary orbits okay yes sir next second postulate says uh, 11th class you might have learned about angular momentum angular momentum angular yes, moment i here quietly here quietly angular momentum is the product of linear momentum and radius vector so the moment of linear momentum of a particle in circular motion we call it as angular momentum i repeat once again the moment of linear momentum so we will show it vectorially like this l bar is equal to r bar cross p bar so the moment of uh, linear momentum of a particle in circular motion is called as angular momentum it's an axial vector perpendicular to the plane containing r bar and p bar so here the second postulate says the angular momentum of orbiting electron in the nucleus is equal to pr momentum p you know it is the product of mass and velocity so it is f yes, p into r is equal to the integral of a parameter constant H by two pi. I'll read once again. I'll tell you the postulates if you want. Yes. The angular momentum of an electron orbiting around the nucleus will be the integral multiples of a constant H by two pi. This H is nothing but the Planck's constant, and n is the principal quantum number of the orbit. this is second postulate and third postulate the energy of an electron in an orbit i repeat the energy of an electron in an orbit is constant next energy 
is fluid or absorbed whenever there is a transition of electron from one energy level to another energy level and the amount of energy emitted or absorbed will be equal to the difference of energies of the two orbits between which the electron transition is taking place so once again I repeat the third postulate it has two parts first part the energy of an electron in an orbit is conserved the energy of electron in an orbit is constant next emission or absorption of energy will take place during the transition of electron between the two orbitals which is equal to the difference of energy next the frequency of this uh, spectral line corresponding to this energy emitted is given by you know e is equal to h mu therefore delta e by h will be giving you the frequency and the wave number is given by 1 by lambda that is equal to nu by c means delta e wave number of a spectral line is the reciprocal of wavelength that is nu by c how i got that we know c is equal to nu lambda so 1 by lambda is nu by c is equal to delta e by h please try to avoid that external disturbance so oh. the wave number of the spectral line is given by delta e that is the energy emitted or absorbed by h to c h stands for blank's constant c stands for speed of light now i summarize the postulate first one every electron revolves around the nucleus in discrete quantized orbits with well defined energy called the stationary orbits second postulate the angular momentum of orbiting electron will be the integral multiples of the parameter h by 2 pi uh, that is here n 1 2 3 is nothing but the principal quantum number and h is the planck's constant third one is the energy of an electron in an orbit is constant the emission or absorption of energy will take place during the transition of electron between two orbitals with well defined energies and the e delta e is given by e2 minus e1 the pre this particular energy emitted or absorbed will be appearing as spectral line the frequency of spectral line is delta e by h because we have e is equal to h nu so if you want nu it is e by h here in place of e we will have delta e by h because what we are referring is the energy emitted or absorbed and delta e by h because we have another term called wave number wave number is the reciprocal of wavelength using the standard relation c is equal to nu into lambda speed of the wave last 11th class waves topic is there speed of any wave is given by the product of frequency multiplied by wavelength therefore i get the wave number of spectral line e is given by 1 by lambda is equal to nu by c is equal to delta e by hc these are the postulates please take them fast please note them very important first postulate every electron e with one bar about that's called electron negative charge every electron yes. revolves around the nucleus revolves around the nucleus in discrete in the discrete quantized orbits every electron revolves around the nucleus in the discrete quantized orbits with well defined energy because conceptual questions will come so you must be thorough yes, with sir. these uh, statements with well defined yes, energy and are called stationary orbits underline and are called the stationary orbits second postulate the angular
particular momentum of orbiting electron the angular momentum of the orbiting electron a n g angular m o m momentum use abbreviations the angular momentum of orbiting electron will be equal to will be equal to the integral multiples of angular momentum of orbiting electron s will be equal to will be equals to the integral multiples of h by 2 pi h by 2 pi s you can put equal to symbol don't be conventional i am going to write a competitive exam not board exam okay Right. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Is equal to uh, where? Sorry, where h is the Planck's constant? H is the Planck's constant. N is equal to one, two, three, etc. Is the principal quantum member of the stationary orbit? principal quantum member of the stationary orbit principal quantum member of the stationary orbit third postulate yes. third postulate a two or the two points are there a Yes, the energy of electron in the stationary orbit. The energy of electron in the stationary orbit is constant. Stationary. Yes, stationary orbit constant. Yes, sir. B. The emission or absorption of energy will take place. The emission of the emission or absorption of energy will take place. During the transition of during the transition of electron. During the transition of electron between, during the transition of electron between two stationary orbits, between the two stationary orbits. Right in the next line. The energy emitted or absorbed. The energy emitted or absorbed delta E is equal to E two minus E one. You can put E two difference E one. The energy. The energy emitted or absorbed is equal to E two difference E one because it can be either absorption or emission. Next. E two equal to e S. E two difference E one. S. The this energy will appear as spectral line. This energy will appear as spectral line. In frequency. With frequency. Here, new is equal to delta E by H. New 
u is equal to delta e by h if you want in brackets you can put since e is equal to h nu why do you sara it should be written right this is the other since e is equal to h nu last point in this the wave number of spectral line yes sir the wave number of the spectral line Yeah, u bar is equal to the wave number of the spectral line u bar is equal to 1 by lambda is equal to nu by c 1 by lambda is equal to nu by c is equal to delta e by hc yes. i will ask you this when we write the formula for wave number if you don't tell i'll give you 10 times imposition both of you okay okay yes, sir yes ah. sir you have to remember once we yes, are doing means you practice write two three times and try to remember and you please copy them also you will yes, have an sir. idea linear momentum p is equal to mb yes, angular momentum l bar is r bar cross p bar l is equal to p bar stay back i'll resume again immediately It's getting down. Switch it up. I'll uh, resume back. <laughs> 